Hey folks and welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Brendan from Blue Light and over the past several years I've been coaching and supporting people to succeed in the police recruitment process. I've also been doing a lot of things, uh, working for the College of Policing, been part of a big European Union project, uh, spoken at conferences, all sorts of cool stuff but the main thing I do is I help people to join the police. So um, welcome to North Wales, uh, what a beautiful day. Uh, for those who have been following some of my videos over the past few days, you will know that I'm on holiday with the little blue lights and Mrs. Blue Light and we are staying at a friend's house in North Wales and what a lucky individual he is and his family also. What a fantastic house and a fantastic view and what a glorious morning today, absolutely glorious. So um, anyway, you didn't watch this did you just to uh, look at a nice view from a hill in North Wales uh, out to the Irish Sea. No, you hopefully watched it um, to hear my thoughts on the latest round of developments in terms of the 20,000 additional police officers that are going to get recruited over the next three years. So um, a little bit of confusion on Twitter yesterday. Uh, with some people saying actually it's not 20,000 extra it's just 20,000 in which case it's less than what the service would recruit anyway because the service will is losing about eight and a half thousand um, officers uh, every year um, in terms of people just retiring and resigning and it's that resigning thing that's going to be the big issue I think so um, Look, let's get this straight. It's the best job in the world. Policing is the best job in the world. People do not leave it because of the job. People leave people, not the organisation. So retention is going to have to be something which is going to be a big focus over the next few years. And I'm just wondering what that's going to look like. Uh, because honestly, you know, having served for 28 years in three different forces in an attachment with the Home Office in about 20 something different roles, um, not great actually, not great. I know it's getting better in a lot of forces and there's some really good leaders out there who genuinely care and are passionate about the staff that they work alongside. You'll notice I use the phrase work alongside because they're not working for them. Um, we've changed the way things are in society and the concept of working for someone is something that's just a bit dead in the water but I wonder how dead in the water it is in the police service. I'll repeat it again, people leave people, they don't leave the organisation, they don't leave the role, they don't leave the job. A number of police officers I see on Twitter and I've spoken to say absolutely love the job but just hated the bosses, hated the hierarchy, hated the bureaucracy, um, hated the way they did things. That's what they're leaving. So how are things going to change? Because it's one thing saying that you're going to recruit 20,000 but what are you going to do to keep them? Uh, because it's an expensive business investing in that kind of recruitment uh, because over the next three years if everything goes according to the PM's plan they're going to have to recruit uh, just over 45,000 police officers 45,000 police officers in just three years uh, my goodness I've already spoken about some of the challenges around that but retention is going to be a huge one um, how are we going to treat people once they're in and this isn't about molly coddling them uh, because recently there was a report that was bandying around the press about millennials uh, they got that wrong by the way it's generation Z not millennials um, who are wrapped in cotton candy cotton wool and uh, don't like uh, confrontation don't like nights and don't like having to arrest people well I don't think people leave because of that I think once again people leave people people leave an environment that isn't good for them that's making them feel unwell and uh, is waking them up at two o'clock in the morning when they are actually sleeping at night. So how are things are going to change? I've got lots of ideas but uh, too many for this video. I'll just plant that seed in your mind uh, and if you are looking to join how are you going to be the person that be is going to be the change that's needed? So how are you going to be the sort of officer that's going to allow the sort of change that's needed to ensure that we keep really good people in service? So there you go folks, another set of thoughts of mine from the 20,000 police officers thing. Um, the policing board met yesterday. Um, I wonder how much they talked about retention. I posed a few questions to Lynn Owens, uh, the head of the National Crime Agency. She's normally pretty good at getting back to people uh, and she was there. So uh, let's see what response we get. But I just wonder how much retention was at the forefront of their minds or are they just going to focus on hitting recruitment targets? 
uh, interesting times folks interesting times so anyway i'm off to join the rest of uh, my holes today and uh, looks like it's going to be a good one um, there you go look at that fantastic view until next time folks i'll speak to you soon bye bye for now